time you get this message, Lachlan parents and students will be beginning their Easter recess. What I'd like to do is just wish you and your families a wonderful Easter holiday. The Catholic schools in Brooklyn and Queens and the Lasallian schools throughout New York State have decided to honor that break in the school year. One of the reasons we've done that is because parents are telling us they need time to refresh and recharge, and they've told us that we think your faculty needs to do the same thing. And it seems to me that there's no better time to refresh and recharge than Easter. And when I think about it, you know, what happened on that first Easter Sunday is that a group of women went running to the tomb to see their Lord and their Savior. And when they got there, they found a stone rolled back and they found it empty. But that emptiness held a promise. And it's my prayer for all of us that we can see the promise that often appears in a space that's void and empty. For the women at the tomb, it was the promise of resurrection of new life. For us, it's basically the same promise. My prayer for you is that this Easter, you will experience a rebirth a rebirth born of the suffering that's been endured so far and has been endured by many and is likely to continue. But to realize that in this, there is light. Those women at that empty tomb and the promise of the resurrection were convinced that there was a light that conquered darkness, that there was an opportunity in this resurrection to conquer death. So my prayer is that we can embrace the promise of the resurrection, the promise of new birth. And what it means practically is stated in John's gospel pretty well. Jesus came that we may have life and have it to the full. My prayer for all of us this Easter is that we'll enjoy the fullness of life. God bless. Be well.